Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. And I have a plan. It starts with like 30 colors over there and in the bottom of my color pan I'm going to put some Anita's White Metallic because I think everything else will float on that quite nicely. This is a Modern Masters. I'm not sure. It's not the copper. This is... What is that? That is the red opal from Folk Art, which is very similar but not exactly the same. I'm going to wait and put my gold on top. I'm going to grab my favorite purple flash from Folk Art. And I'm just going to see how I like my combinations as I, as I go. And if I feel like I've reached a place where I can stop, I'll stop. I want to put my Venetian blue from Modern Masters in there, but the truth is that so far I haven't remembered to add the extra the extra flow trawl or whatever to thin it out, so um, I'm going to wait and put it in later. That is a minty green color shift on top of a turquoise color shift, inviting a green gold color shift, all from folk art. So I really liked the other day how the red looked, excuse me, how the orange looked with the copper. Now, what I'm planning on doing is dribbling, sort of, not spatters exactly, but sort of, kind of. <laughs> Let's put a little more white in there. Now, I got out my other orange. There it is. So, I'm, I think you don't need a shovel for this. A scoop would probably work. You could probably pour it directly right out of the box if you wanted to. I'm going to put a little bit of... Um, Ooh, I'm almost out of my golden quinacridone magenta. But that's okay, because I've got some berry from DecoArt Americana. Ooh, it's not open. Okay, let's open that really quickly. And always, when you see these threads, always pull them out. Because if they stay in, they will become the next clog in your tip. And thank goodness that didn't drop right in there. Yes, I unplugged it first. You can't ever get rid of all of them, but you can do some... You can help yourself. See, that's really close. It's just darker, that's all. So I want some dioxidine purple. I don't know. I think it might be a, um, a Master's Touch from Hobby Lobby because it's nice and dark. And I'm also going to put some Prussian Blue in there. And mostly I do these because when they're combined with other colors and white and metallics, they sell like crazy. I don't use any silicone most of the time. 99.999% of the time. It happens, but not often. It used to happen in the beginning all the time. That's all I ever did. And silicone makes beautiful cells. There's no doubt about it. And as long as you don't mind that oily residue on your painting, God bless you. <laughs> Have at it. So I'm going to put another color between, another color being purple, and probably bring some turquoise into this. This is just a metallic craft paint, metallic. Um, I'm not sure if it's folk art or deco art or what it is, but I would say that most of them are going to be pretty good. I don't have enough blue, but that's because I'm going to put the blue in at the, at the very tail end. I'm going to try and float it. So I think in order to do that, I'm going to put a little bit of that white metallic from Anita's, put my blue all over, and I said I was going to put some gold on. I still haven't put any red in there, and I may add more gold later. I'm going to try and move some of my bottles out of my way. I think I've got about everything in there I can possibly manage. Just. Just because I can, I'll put, hey, that's the name of my first book on the Amazon link. Underneath the link tree, underneath the video, there's uh, an Amazon link. And if you shop there when things are in stock, you help me out. And I really appreciate that because I'm about to reduce the number of videos I have, or I just did that to, uh, to one a day, which ought to be kind of devastating to me. But um, you can still find a place to donate, PayPal or Patreon, if you want to. Icons are on my channel header, and the links are underneath. There's the blue I was looking for. And if I squeeze stuff down into there, then I'll get more cells. So, 
PayPal and Patreon, and you'll get a receipt. If, if you donate, you'll be included in the monthly drawing. That is the, the enamel, the black enamel, and I want that because even a little bit of that affects all other colors. It's an acrylic enamel, and what it does is it really affects the other colors and makes cells. So I'm going to introduce you to... This is a combination of Artist Loft and Latex from Walmart, and I want a nice heavy puddle of that because I'm going to use most of this base coat to, to allow everything else to spread out. I'm not even sure how far I'm going to go with that, but I do see that thing in there that I would like out. There are my tweezers, also on the Amazon link. Yes, it's a big thing. I think I actually saw this going. I just ordered the, um, the screen top for my Floatrol along with another thousand D-rings. Those things are on the Amazon link also. So let's just do that again. I don't know how far I want to spread that out. Maybe I'll just take the outer edges. One of these times I'm going to do one of those um, crazy garland looking rings. But this would not be the way to start that anyway. I think the way I started... It's a very popular video. The way I started that was with nothing in the center. So I'm just spreading this paint around the outside edges even though I've got a large puddle still in the center because the puddle will flow the paint and the layer on the outside will help facilitate any flowing paint. So I am pretty much covered. I'm not going to worry about my edges right now at all. They'll get covered or they won't. Somewhere around here I actually have edge catchers which is what I press against the side of my canvas to keep the paint from escaping. And sometimes I take the paint off and put it back in the painting with, uh, there's an edge catcher right now. Sometimes I take it off with a spatula and put it back in. Yeah, I've got a couple more colors over here. I still might put some red in there. We'll see. So my edge catcher is honestly stuck right to my Lola Fee silicone mat, along with everything else I left there when I stopped painting last time. But this is what they look like as they go along. Oh, almost spilled my paint. I don't need anything under here when I start working. So I'll move those. So my idea is, take that thing out of there, to grab a shovel full, peel off anything that wants to become part of the painting I don't want in there, and, and, <laughs> and take some of my lurid Velveeta colored orange right on the top. I have never splash, splish splashed and this time I just want to splish splash. Because I know they'll mix somewhat. Now I'm going to stop let whatever's in here relax off into the bucket, hopefully. I don't know what's going to happen now, but I'm very interested to find out. A lot of times I'll rib and dribble just like that to make gardens. If you're looking for my garden scapes, you might find them. I don't know how much of the color I can keep, because as you see, it sort of swallows itself as it goes. But being that, that said, if you put chain in there, or use a straw, there's a pretty good chance that you can unearth some colors, but I was kind of hoping that they would be doing something different, and they are kind of doing something different. It's definitely not meant to be a ring pour type thing, and without experimenting at least once to do this this way, we won't know. Now I've got plenty more color to go, and if I want to add more puddles of white, I can do that. And maybe, just maybe, I would like to uh, Whoops, that was a lot more than I expected. I'm just going to grab some more of this. Put it right up there. And an edge catcher. A bigger edge catcher than the ones I showed you. They stick together, but they come apart. As long as you don't leave them out. 
Okay, I'm going to go for the short one. So, I just press that up against the side, the full length of it. I'm going to let that flow down and back. And probably in and then over this was not part of my plan what is that large lump go away large lump <laughs> so it's kind of hoping that the new paint I added would help everything else flow and it may still do so and if I leave a puddle on my edge catcher before it rolls down on my arm or escapes entirely I can either do this throw it back in Or I could have scraped it off. I've got some strange things going on. This is just entirely different. But that's what experiments are about. Doing different things. And I'm, what I'm really looking for is a whole lot of white negative space. I usually use black, but I'm not too worried about it this time. I'm very curious to see what I'm going to get. I like the remaining accidental marks. Now once I get a puddle on the, cam on the uh, edge catcher, I can also rock the canvas, move it down to a new location, and let that same puddle flow right back in, which I do like doing. But it's looking a lot like I'm going to need to tend to my other side, which is kind of okay, because I can do that from the other side. Let's see how far we can get this to go first. I don't know what to call this. <laughs> a dribble pour. And I probably could have used a whole lot more. There's a bug. Come out of there, bug. I could have used a whole lot more white, but I wasn't overly familiar with how much I was going to need. So, let me add myself another big puddle, grab some bright colors from the end here, put them right in that because I can. That was kind of a ring pour, kind of totally ring pour. I'm only going to use a portion of my edge catcher. I'm going to use a smaller edge catcher because I don't want to take the paint off the side of the canvas. I'm going to rock it just ever so gently so that it covers the edge. I'm going to let it all go down and once I have it down there then I can let it travel before throwing it back in again. And I'm actually making my rivulets go in an opposite direction than some of the others and adding to the paint that I want to have flow. I'm going to use the rest of the paint on my edge catcher, small though it is to go back into the canvas. I haven't lost anything over there yet. I have some paint I'm not too thrilled about keeping. So all that's kind of neat. Different at least. And if it had been a little, mm, I was going to say a little more different, but I don't think I'm going to worry about that right now. I think I'm going to do what I thought I was going to do a moment ago. Which is go ahead and use a lot of my paint that I have left in any random way because this is all a learning experience. And I have a fair amount of confidence in my ability to um, rescue myself from dire straits. So any little dribbles I give myself are basically just textural and they'll all sort of meld and morph. I want a little more blue. And I want some more of my favorite purple flash. And then if we have time, which we don't, we have 137. And then a couple minutes, and I'll start to tell you now that if you uh, if you want to help me survive, 
and you can afford to buy artwork, you're my person. <laughs> and uh, I, I told you about the donations and the uh, exhibition video on the end screens of any video. We'll show you what the prizes are for that month. These things need to go out of the way. It's time for me to bring... What else do I want over here? Do I want more white? Probably not. I kind of always want more purple, to tell you the truth. So let's just grab that and this edge catcher. And there's plenty of paint on here, so I'm going to get myself kind of messy in a second. But you never know what you're going to get until you try. So you might as well try. Like I said, if I have that big puddle on here, I can take it all off and put it back where I'm missing paint. But I might be more tempted to throw it back in first. Yep, that's not hurting my feelings any. That's uh, a little unexpected, but it's different than anything else. And that's always good for me. I like different. I like experiments that create different effects. That's going to go for a minute <laughs> while I do this. I should have put another edge catcher down further. So I'm going to move that one down. I just don't want that going on. So There's my two minutes. Hopefully I can do this. So what I'd like is for a, a big puddle of paint to appear right down there in that center after I squeeze it down and then let it go back in again. So it's coming in from another direction still. I still haven't taken anything off with my spatula and maybe it's time to do that. Because I've got a lot of really neat stuff happening and I haven't done anything that I could have done with it like chain or at the very least a spiral. Ha! <laughs> Found time to do that. So I do sell my artwork. I mentioned that. And uh, I have Teespring clothing below the video. As long as you're on... Ooh, that was cool. As long as you're on Expression to Start Studio Priscilla Batzell. I think Phoenix Rising Priscilla Batzell art is, is going to be... Um, it's going to have some neat videos there for a while, but I'm not sure it's going to get a whole lot posted in any particular time period for a while because I need to find a way to pay for my art supplies. All right, so I'm going to torch really quickly and see if I can get rid of any bubbles in the paint. Now we had some enamel paint in there, so in theory that ought to help create some cells. I'm just going to lead along whatever. I like the stripy patterns. I like this too, but it's not covered canvas, so... Just going to use my finger. Going to have to check my edges. I love you guys. We're going on 88,000 subscribers. Check out my playlists and creative playlists on my channel. I'm just going to do a hit and run on that and try and blow some, some air in. And see what we get. I got less than a minute to go. I'm sure of it. So much for something easy. I'm not getting a, a whole lot more of what I like about um, this, so I'm just going to take what I've got and add a few co couple spirals and call it good. This is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida, Ooh, an expressionist art studio gallery in the backyard dropping stuff. And uh, reminding you, I need your thumbs up and I really appreciate your comments and thank you all for the donations that have kept me painting all this time. So appreciate that. I love you guys dearly. I will take, I will see you anon. And um, what else? <laughs> Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group is for students. So if you stop by, you'll see what today's video is or videos, depending on how soon you see this video. Be just a couple more spirals. Actually, I just like that. I don't know if it's a galaxy or what, but I like it. And I love you guys. So take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. I'm going to take whatever I need to. 
put it where I need to to 